Hi everybody, it's Ian Cunningham from Vector GB and welcome to this very first episode in our new series, Engineering the Jigsaw. And this very first episode is to explain what we're going to try to achieve in this series. Uh, so how you can approach the episodes, how we're going to help you understand what's in the episodes and some other things like how we can help you find more information if you're really interested in what we're going to cover. Now, before you watch this episode, there's really only one thing you need to know, and that is that the letters EE in this context we're talking about today stands for electrical electronic. So why are we preparing these videos? Well, the EE systems in modern vehicles are becoming more and more complex. Vehicles are now starting to use advanced technologies to perceive their surroundings and react to them. So, for example, a vehicle will be able to detect now other vehicles coming towards it. It will be able to see pedestrians and understand which way those pedestrians are moving. It will be able to detect that there are traffic signals set to stop and if there are cars stopped at those traffic signals with their brake lights on. And of course, it will also be able to see if there's traffic traveling in the same direction and be able to look, see road signs, understand what those road signs mean in terms of what maybe the vehicle will need to do next. So to react to the surroundings. And vehicles that can drive themselves based on these kinds of technologies are being developed and even being tested on public roads right now. So it's really important for all of us to start to have an appreciation of some of these technologies. And of course, Vector provides the products that help engineers to deliver these advanced electrical electronic systems. So we want to simplify the complexity. And if we think about a way to approach complexity, we can think of as a jigsaw puzzle as a fairly complex thing. And of course, if we're starting a jigsaw puzzle, we tend to start with the corners. And in this series of episodes, we're going to identify our foundation episodes as a red corner jigsaw piece. Once we've got the corners in place, next step in doing a jigsaw is usually we'll look for the sides, the edges and we'll put these in place between the corners. And our intermediate episodes that we're going to prepare in this series are going to be identified with a dark grey edge piece. Once we've got the edges and the corners in place, of course, we start to go into the centre of our jigsaw. And we're going to identify our advanced episodes with a white middle piece with a black outline. Now, depending on your existing knowledge, you might want to skip the corners, even jump straight into the middle. And of course, you're welcome to do that, but we hope that we'll have something in every episode for everybody. And how are we going to approach this overall? Well, our titles are going to let you know the level of what's coming. So at the start of today's episode, you'll have seen the red jigsaw piece, the red corner piece. Also the title of the episode, it's Welcome to Engineering the Jigsaw. Then we have the brackets with episode F for foundation zero. So we have F for foundation, I intermediate and A for advanced. So hopefully we'll help you understand what's coming before you even really get into an episode just in the first couple of seconds. And of course, if there's any prerequisite knowledge, we will tell you and we'll refer you to relevant resources. So at the start of today's episode, I said there is no prerequisite knowledge for today's episode. And we'll then cover the focus topic over around 10 minutes. So this is not a detailed technical training that we're providing. We're just trying to give you an overview of the topic, the key points that relate to it. And of course, there's a chance you might want to know more. So at the end of each episode, we'll let you know where you can find more information or even where you can find detailed technical training if you really want to get into all the details of a topic that we've covered. So in summary, Vector is the leading provider of tools, software and services in the automotive industry. And we want to help you to understand the key aspects of the EE systems that are going into modern vehicles. We're going to tell you where you can find more information if you want to know more. And we want to help you to understand how Vector's products help engineers to simplify their daily work. This, of course, it's our very first episode. So we'd love to know what you 
want to know more about, please tell us. In a moment, I'll give you an email address that you can use to, to contact us with suggestions for future episodes, or of course, if you have any questions. Make sure you join us for our next episode, which is called a 50,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. This is another foundation episode, which will help you try to understand a bit more of the, the technical content we're going to get into in this series. And if you really can't wait to find out more, then where you found this video in the description, you should be able to find some links to the Vectors e-learning portal, which gives free technical training on a number of different topics and technologies that are relevant for modern vehicle EE systems. You'll also, from our website, be able to find engineering and how-to videos. You'll be able to find links to technical articles from our main website. And of course, we have an events and conferences calendar, which includes webinars, where again, you can get lots of free knowledge from Vector on lots of really interesting topics. So that's the end of this very first episode to explain the purpose of what we're trying to achieve. If you have questions or ideas for further episodes, then please email us using this special email address. So that is engineering.jigsaw at vector. Dot com. So please make sure to use this email address for your topic suggestions and any questions in relation to episodes to make sure it comes through to our, um, our production team. Otherwise, it may end up kind of in the email system bouncing around a little while before it gets to us. So use this email address to get, the, the, get your questions and topics to us as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we'll see you for that next episode of 50,000 Piece Jigsaw Puzzle very soon.